Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Alexander from Bioengineers Electronics and today we're going to be continuing back on V20 Driver. We're going to be setting up the drive today in the remote control using 2 wire control, 3 wire control and also we're checking out that remote speed control. If by any chance you missed the last video, we're going the drive and uh, run in the local run. I will leave that video in the description below. Also all the manuals, any related videos, anything like that will be in the manual in the description below. So do check it out. So without further ado, let's get started. So our first station is in, so it's going to be looking like that. So we're going to have a run forward, run reverse, jog, and also we're going to be using a, a remote potentiometer, which is rated, which can be from 1 to 10 kilo ohm in between that range. Uh, both uh, three uh, cables coming out from the back of my potentiometer is going into here in the terminals uh, 1, 2, and 3. By the way, guys, to understand, to sort of figure out which terminal, I wish they would have put the numbers under it, would have been some at least under it or on top of it, but it's quite, you You really have to like count which one is which, which is kind of a uh, big no-no for me. But uh, nonetheless, so they are uh, one, two, and three is for your potentiometer. Then uh, the fourth one is going to be a 24 volt signal, which you will come over here, go through our e-stop signal, uh, e-stop uh, switch, and sort of send the power to all the, uh, 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 IOs here and uh, normally open contacts in here. So the first normal contact is going to run forward, there's run reverse, and these two in here will activate a jog. So uh, actually, for this drive, there is no actual jog in a drive itself. At, well, at least I could not find it. I'm pretty sure I have to go through the manual fully and I couldn't find anything. So we are going to be using one of the preset speeds as our jog in here. And for any of that preset speed to work, it requires a some form of run signal, and that run signal can be can be reverse or uh, forwards if you wish. So I chose reverse. So when these two buttons close down, it will close uh, one. This one will close the run reverse, and this one will close the, the terminal input. In my case, I'm using digital input three for that one. So the reason uh, I'm using digital input three so I can show you how to reprogram those IOs. So uh, as you can see, they all come in here. So that's pretty much when it comes down to wiring. And as for the settings, we need to change a couple of things for the drive itself. The first one we're gonna change where we're gonna be controlling our, uh, getting our controls from. And that is going to be in our um, uh, terminals. So we need to go for 2.1. So make sure you change that to zero, which stands for the uh, remote IOs. And the next one we need to change, which is going to be a 3.3, where we select what sort of, uh, where, where we are going to be reading frequency from. I selected to analog input 1, which is a 4, and that will be a basically voltage readout. So, uh, and for the IOs, by default, the first, uh, first uh, preset is in a parameter uh, P3.1, is by default, it is, is set to a fourth terminal in here. If you want to do exactly the same wiring and don't want to, want to mess what I'm about to show, uh, don't do that. So just use the terminal 4, which is right here. No, which one is it? Yeah, this guy in here. So you count 1, 2, 3, 4. So this guy in there, you can just uh, take this cable in there, put it in there, and you don't have to change anything, and you will have a preset frequency. And if you want to change that, you can do that in parameter uh, 3.5. Uh, well, actually, I keep clicking the buttons now and upwards. In 3.5, as you can see, I changed that to 5 hertz, what usually uh, uh, jog frequencies are. So I changed that to 5, and that will give me a uh, sort of preset pre pre frequency. But in our case, we're going to call a jog. So, but I didn't do that because I wanted to show you that you can reprogram your IOs if you wish. And let me find the correct page where everything is. If my God. One second, bear with me. Here we are. So in this drive as well, the same as same as a lens, you have to sort more or less uh, select, uh, go for the actual the what you're trying to achieve. As you can see, the all names: the reverse, fault close, open, fault reset, run, enable, preset, speeds, run, uh, run down, blah, blah blah, all these things. So you actually have to sort of assign other what input you're going to be assigned to it. As you can see, that many how many inputs you can put on for, put for it. So I, I just changed uh, the the four for three in a parameter. Which one? Uh, which one did I use for a? Uh, so I I I used the 
uh, five point, no, where is it? No, no, do, 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 do. as you can see that they're 5.8. I changed to four to three. So that, that basically changes so I can uh, edit that information, send, send the preset speed or jog in our case in terminal uh, digital input three. That's pretty much that's it. So uh, that's is how you would change your IOs if you wish, because we are going to be playing a little bit with the IOs in, uh, in a minute. So let me put cover on, we'll test out how it runs. Covers on, so uh, so yeah, let me, let's uh, leave. Go back to monitoring. There's a couple of ways you can do it. So if you go into monitoring mode, V1.1 is where your actual run frequency is when it runs. At the moment it's not running, so it's zero. But if you want to see what's going on in your potentiometer, oh, no, in there. There's loads of monitoring in this, so uh, I'm just going through the basics, as you can see down there. If I move the potentiometer, you are able to see what, poten what uh, frequency you have in there. So nevertheless, so let's uh, leave and go back to that. So run forward, there you go, adjust the speed. Look what happens when you, this is the first drive ever, actually, when you when you put two on the monitor, look at that, alarm 55 comes. I've never seen alarms come up in the drives. So uh, so that's that's interesting. And when you, when you take it off, as you can see, I have taken it off and alarm is still flashing. Just click stop button and that should more or less, here we go, alarm will remove the alarm. So there we go, then you can go in reverse again. And as you can see, if I, uh, as soon as, oh, we're not actually watching. So as soon as you push the jog, it will override any of the run signal and run that five frequency, which I preset in uh, preset one. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the uh, 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 two-wire control. Next up, three-wire control. As for the three-wire control, that's our station. Stop, run forward, run reverse, and speed. Control in there. Pretty much speed, everything like that stays the same as it was before. And I'm only going to run you through the actual wire in here. So let me just do that. We are using a digital input uh, one, two, and a three. We're going to get to that in a minute. How to reconfigure it? Plus signal 24 uh, comes to the yeah uh, uh, comes to the east up goes to the east up goes. To, we are a stop signal. Then from the stop signal, as you can see, the wire number two that goes to digital input two. My start signal goes to digital input one, and my uh, reverse uh, signal, reverse start goes to digital input three. So that's pretty much uh, what the wiring is all about. So uh, once you've done the wiring, there's one thing we need, a couple of things we need to change. We need to adjust AR, uh, how the digital inputs are formed and for that we need to go to parameter if i can quickly find it because i just literally lost that page uh it is io configuration in parameter i think it was something five points oh uh, yeah it's called io start stop logic that's what we need to change and that is going to be in parameter 2.4 as you can see down here it's sort of a zoom in it sort of offers you signal one and signal two Signal one is digital input one, and signal two is digital input two. And as you will be changing these numbers, and as you can see down there, this is this is what this is going to be changed to is like, and we're going to be changing to one, which is a forward edge, and a inverted stop. So that inverted stop is pretty much is going to latch in at the input, and I think it's going to do exactly the same for the reverse, which we need to program in to digital input three. So uh, once we change that, so we are straightway uh, reprogrammed the digital input, uh, digital input uh, uh, one is a uh, start and digital input two is a stop. And we just need to make sure that our digital input three, which we are gonna do in, let me get to it. Go to the page in here, as you can see down here, 5.3, go to the parameter 5.3 and change that one to where you, which, whatever input you want to assign to. I assigned it to three. That's it. That's pretty much, that's all you need to do. So having done that, we are ready to go. So let me put the cover on and let's test out. Here we are, cover is on. So there's our station. Click a start, that's it. And by clicking the reverse, it will shoot into reverse. Stop it. And you can start reverse. Pretty much that's it. And uh, by doing that, click the east up. All he does, it really removes just the power from the IOs. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will conclude 
two wire control and three wire control. So, ladies and gentlemen, that will do for this video. If you like the video, do smash that like. Uh, do subscribe if you like what we're doing here. So, uh, and definitely comment below if you have any questions and and uh, anything uh, you want to very much discuss. Guys, do ask proper questions because I keep getting uh, keep getting the questions every now and then. I don't know if that is a question or you're trying to tell me something. So do like, uh, if you have a problem with the, with the drive, do try to explain exactly the situation, what is going on, rather than throwing something, uh, some, some just one liner and expecting me to understand, which I do my best to try to understand, but uh, come on guys, uh, if you want a proper proper conversation, give me some more details, more or less, but I'll be more than happy to help you out. So on that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.